It's an area for our community that's letting us down. You can't expect people to come to a small town to make a home. You can't expect young people to raise a family. If the concern is we have a hospital here and it's a wonderful hospital, but there's just no attending doctor. Do you feel a bit forgotten? Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's wrong. Your mum had an experience and not a very pleasant one. Um, with mum, we've had a, quite a nasty one. Mum was transported by ambulance from my place, which was literally just up the road, to the Narromine Hospital um, in a really bad state. The virtual doctor took quite a bit of time, I understand, to come on the line. The nurses were apologetic. Mum's condition was deteriorating. Uh, she had a high fever, she had vomiting, she had diarrhoea. Um, she was delirious, didn't know where she was, who she was, um, couldn't speak for herself to let him know what was happening. Um, the virtual doctor came online, uh, diagnosed mum with gastro, sent her home with Maxillon. Sonia, do you recall what happened? Do you recall what the nurses said? Do you recall what the virtual doctor said? No, no, the girls were going back and forth to the office, whether they had him on phone or on TV, I don't know. You didn't actually see no, the virtual doctor? No. What was your mother diagnosed with? Um, she was diagnosed by the VA with the gastro, um, vomiting diarrhoea, and as, as it turned out, um, as a condition deteriorated, we took her back to her GP um, and she was put in a hospital with cellulitis. How do you feel about the diagnosis given by the virtual doctor? <sighs> Annoyed. Uh, the fact that it would be on mum's health record, the my health record, um, that she is a sufferer of, of this. It is a reoccurring condition that can happen at any time with her and it can be quite serious quite quickly. I would have thought that if they'd have taken at least the time to look at her record that they would have maybe investigated a little bit further. I think it was a very fast diagnosis um, and just to write the script, pop the pills in and send her off home. But she did end up in a quite serious condition. Realising how sick you were and then how ill you became, does it worry you that it could have been prevented? Well, yes, I think of other people, you know, if they're getting treated the same way, it's, it's dangerous in a lot of ways. Ultimately, we're talking about a hospital without a doctor. That's right. Are you concerned that this will be the new normal, that a virtual doctor will do the job? Mm. Absolutely. When a doctor walks into a room, if you're extremely unwell, I think that just immediately gives you a sense of relief. Yeah. But when you've got nurses coming in, they're constantly apologising. It's not their job yeah. to apologise for the exactly. delay and your discomfort and why mm. you can't be seen to. Um, it's not their job to, to appease parents who are upset because their child's unwell or, or daughters whose mothers are gravely ill. Mm. Um, that's the, the doctor needs to be there for that. Mm. Um, as I said, it's a, it's a great tool when it's used properly. All technologies are, but once they start replacing that human interaction and that human touch, I think that's where we're all going a bit wrong. Hello, I'm Liz Hayes. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.